good morning children now we'll move on to the unit 5 alkali and alkali nerve metal the remaining topic here comes salts of oxalic previously we have discussed about the general characteristic compounds of alkali nerve metal that is oxide hydroxide and then halide Now in this video we are going to study about the salts of oxalic. Okay, here the alkaline earth metal form salts of oxalic. So oxalic means nothing but it is simply the acid that contains oxygen. Okay, so our acid oxygen is there, na? That is oxalic. And the oxygen is that means oxo oxygen. So the acid that is the oxygen is oxo oxygen. Again, under the salts of oxalic we are going to discuss about the carbonate then sulfate nitrate okay so on oxalic we have to know in your book three categories are given one will be the carbonate and then sulfate nitrate okay carbonate sulfate nitrate these three are only given in your book so now we we'll move on to the carbonate so if carbonate on the pathina all the carbonate decompose on heating so heat panum bodu enna aguduna decompose agu so decompose is simply they will get change or it gets dissociate to give the product carbon dioxide and then oxide okay see here in this reaction you can see mco3 so that is simply carbonate co3 appearance and then carbonate okay so the metal carbonate vandu paathinga na metal oxide that is simply monoxide with carbon dioxide form so epovume sollirukka carbon dioxide carbon dioxide vandu ப்ராடக்ட்ல வருதுன்னா அப்ப கண்டிப்பா ரியாக்டன்ட்ல கார்பனேட் குரூப் இருக்கு அப்படின்றது मीनिंग ஓகே சோ ஹியர் தி சாலிபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் கார்பனேட் இன் வாட்டர் டிகிரீஸஸ் டவுன் தி குரூப் சோ அப்ப ஆர் மூவிங் டவுன் தி குரூப் வாட் ஹேப்பன் தி கார்பனேட் ஓட சாலிபிலிட்டி பாத்தீனா டிகிரீஸ் ஆகும் फ्रॉम டாப் டு பாட்டம் இட் கெட் டிகிரீஸ் தென் ஜெட் வாட்டர் டெம்பரேச்சர் தட் இஸ் தி தெர்மல் ஸ்டேபிலிட்டி சோ அந்த டெம்பரேச்சர் வந்து பாத்தீனா
sulfate you can check here for sulfate the metals are all white solid and all they are stable to heat we check with the metals their sulfates undu paathina nalla white solid ah irukum and also nalla heat panalum it seems to be stable then when we check with the sulfate for beryllium and then magnesium it is given by beryllium sulfate and then magnesium sulfate that what happens is that they are readily soluble in water uh, also the solubility decreases from calcium sulfate to barium sulfate okay so solubility vandu paathina decrease aagudhu okay from calcium to barium that is next to magnesium calcium strontium barium so the moon ku paathina already solubility decrease aagudhu whereas beryllium to magnesium ku paathina they will get readily soluble thicker soluble in water la so kida poga poga already solubility ku koya aagudhu compare panna bodhu they get decreases greater the hydrogen enthalpy of beryllium and magnesium ya overcome the lattice enthalpy factor and therefore they sulfates are soluble in water so when we check with their hydration enthalpy so the they will get changes from beryllium and magnesium ion so it leads to the lattice enthalpy factor and also they are sulfates and soluble in water okay so when we check with the sulfate what happens is that their solubility will get easily soluble with water okay so that is given for sulfate so the previous one we have done carbonate carbon so carbonate also you know forms carbon dioxide so carbonate and the solubility also you know that get solubility gets decreases yeah so previous the solubility only decrease agudhu thermal stability increase agudhu paathu whereas here in sulfate la undu paathina their solubility decreases only from calcium to beryllium okay so beryllium and magnesium sulfate will get easily soluble which means they get readily soluble in water okay also the hydration enthalpy of beryllium and magnesium are greater uh, when comparing with that is when when we overcome with the lattice enthalpy factor and also their sulfate also very easily soluble in water because of this reason then next comes their nitrates so previously we have completed carbonate sulfate also over so now we'll move on to the last term sulfate nitrate okay see here in this we can tell the nitrates are made up by dissolution of the carbonate in dilute hno so dilute hno is the dilute nitric acid here what happens is that this magnesium nitrate crystallizes with six molecules of water whereas this barium nitrate crystallizes as the anhydrous salt okay so now when we check with the nitrate the nitrate is made by dissolution of the carbonate in dilute hno3 so what we have to do is that we have to make a nitrate solution with a dilute nitric acid so from this what happens the their carbonate in nitric acid will form the nitrate compound okay that is magnesium nitrate crystallizes with six molecules of water so magnesium nitrate is simply given by mg if you write here nitrate will be given by it will be enclosed in packing bracket so now this no3 twice this nitrate in two moles it is simply said to be magnesium nitrate here this magnesium nitrate crystallizes okay so that gets crystallizes with six molecules of water okay so with six molecules of water that is simply given by 6 h2o 
to 6 H2O so that it gives a water molecule in hydrated form. Okay, so that we can tell this magnesium nitrate that crystallizes with six molecules of water. Whereas when we check with the barium nitrate, here that get crystallizes in anhydrous form. So which means it won't have any moisture content. So anhydrous. So anhydrous that is simply written by barium Ba NO3. Barium nitrate. Here, this barium nitrate is in anhydrous form. Okay, so this anhydrous form of barium nitrate it simply won't have any water content. So that it seems to look like PaNO3 twice as when we compare with the magnesium nitrate. So this magnesium nitrate will have six moles of water. That is, it gets crystallizes with six molecules of water. This barium nitrate won't have any water content because it seems to be in anhydrous salt. Okay. This again shows a decreasing tendency to form hydrates with increasing size. Okay. So when the size of the element gets increases, what happens is that they will show a decreasing tendency to form the hydrate. So the hydrate is simply they will have the presence of water molecule in their compound, right? And again, all of them decompose on heating to give the oxide. Okay, so for example, if you take a nitrate compound, what happens is that they will get decomposed. So on heating, what happens, they will get converted from one form to the another form. This nitrate that will get converted to form oxide. That is, this hydrate that we obtain here that gets converted to oxide. So previously we discussed about carbonate, now we discussed about sulphate then nitrate. So sulphate is simply beryllium sulphate and magnesium sulphate that gets readily soluble in water and also the insolubility increases or it decreases from calcium to barium sulphate. Again the same for when we check with the nitrate, here the nitrate in how the nitrate compound forms, we have to mix the compound with dilute nitric acid. We react with nitric acid so that we get the resulting product as nitrate form. Okay, for example, magnesium when, when it's treated with nitric acid, the resultant product obtained is simply magnesium nitrate. Right? Again, barium with dilute nitric acid. The resultant product obtained is simply barium nitrate. Okay. Here this magnesium nitrate contains six molecules of water. That is, it crystallizes six molecules of water. Whereas this barium nitrate is in anhydrous form, which means it won't have any water content. Okay, so it is simply said to be anhydrous. The word anhydrous refers to the compound does not have any water molecule. Okay. The Again, it shows a decreasing tendency to form hydrates with increasing size. When the size gets increases, they will show a decreasing tendency in the formation of hydrates. Also, they decompose on heating to give oxide. The product opened is simply oxide, right? So, that's all about the salts of oxoacid. Okay. So, now... We will move on to the important compounds of calcium. Okay, so this is very, very important. Here okay, the calcium compounds are very important. Many are there. So first comes quick lime. That is indicated by the formula CaO. CaO is said to be calcium oxide. CaO is said to be calcium oxide. That is simply said to be quick lime. Then next comes calcium hydroxide. So this calcium hydroxide is given by CaOH twice. CaOH twice is said to be calcium hydroxide. Then 
Next comes gypsum. So this gypsum is nothing but this, it have lots of uses and this gypsum is given by CaSO4 2H2O. So this 2H2O refers to it will have two modes of water. Okay. The next comes plaster of Paris. This plaster of Paris is nothing but it is simply calcium sulfate hemihydrate. You can tell it as calcium sulfate hemihydrate. So which will be given by Ca SO4 calcium sulfate and then hemihydrate. Here hemihydrate is simply given by half that is 1 by 2 H2O. Here they will be given by written as plaster of Paris, their formula is written in this form only. Here previously for gypsum it will have two molecules of water, whereas this plaster of Paris will have half, that is simply said to be the word let me write here calcium Plaster of Paris is otherwise said to be otherwise named as calcium sulfate hemihydrate. Okay, so this is hemihydrate refers to half H2O. So now under important compounds of calcium, this four topics only we are going to see. So the first comes quick lime, second comes calcium hydroxide, third is the gypsum, and fourth is the plaster of Paris. All are very very interesting topic and also that coincides with our day to day life. We are all well aware of, about this terms. Okay, so first we move on to calcium oxide that is simply quick line. Here we are going to, under this, we are going to see their preparation properties and then their usage. Okay, their uses simply their application. That's only we are going to see under this topic. Okay, so first we will move on to quick line calcium oxide. Here you will see how to prepare this calcium oxide. That is quick line. Here this quick line that is calcium oxide is prepared by heating limestone. We have to heat the limestone in a lime tea. Okay, so first we have to heat it. So after heat it in a lime kiln, if the temperature range of 1070 to 1270 Kelvin. So when we heat at this temperature, what happens is that the resultant product obtained is the quick lime and the reaction takes place in reversible manner. So this kind of aroma is said to be the reversible so this reversible means in a reaction, the reversible is nothing but the product form is again reversed to form the reactant. So reactants are made from calcium carbonate. They are so limestone and they are calcium carbonate. So now we are going to the calcium carbonate. So the calcium carbonate is made from heat content. In the temperature there are 1070 level, 1270 Kelvin. So the temperature of heat content is made from heat it gets converted to calcium oxide and then carbon dioxide. Now, I promise you that the problem is that the carbon dioxide is a product of carbon dioxide compound. So, that is the carbon dioxide. The CO2 is the CO2. The mixture of the CO2 oxygen and the calcium oxide is the calcium oxide compound. That is the quick line. That is calcium oxide. Okay, so the reaction is the reversible reaction. So, the reversible reaction is the reversible reaction. So, the reversible reaction is the reversible reaction. Product in the material is calcium oxide carbon dioxide. The calcium oxide carbon dioxide again that gets converted to calcium carbonate. The calcium carbonate is in the product area. So, in the number reaction area, this is the number of product area. Okay, so again again the reaction is the reversible reaction. So, the reversible reaction is the 
reactant gets converted to product, again the product gets converted to reactant. This form is said to be reversible. Okay. Now this carbon dioxide is removed as soon as it is produced to enable the reaction to proceed to completion. So carbon dioxide is produced here. Yeah. all about the preparation of this quick line. So now we'll move on to the properties. See the properties on the particle now this calcium oxide and particle white amorphous solid. So now and the calcium oxide that is CaO particle now and it is the amorphous formula that is the solid or the amorphous of the end of the end of the end of the shape of the end of the end of the end of the shape defined the shape part of the end of the end of the end Where the circular problem comes from, without having a clear defined shape or form, that is said to be amorphous. So amorphous means that the shape plus form, that is the one that calcium oxide, that is under formula amorphous white amorphous solid. That is again it has a melting point of two eight seven zero Kelvin. Then it absorbs moisture and carbon dioxide on exposure to atmosphere. So moisture. Carbon dioxide will absorb and become a liquid to form. See here, for example, it will absorb moisture. So calcium oxide moisture absorbs and the resultant product will be calcium hydroxide. Again, this calcium oxide will the carbon dioxide absorb and become that we are just adding to it, just adding to it. So what happens? CaCO that is simply carbonate formation. The addition of limited amount of water breaks the lump of lime. The process is called Flaking of lime and the product is flaked the lime. Okay, so in another another case, what is that? The water, when the limited amount add for the process, so lump, lump, da, then on the particular layer, do na, or else na, do na, break for it. So water add for it, the lump, da, this me cut the air, this to, then on the na, na, order it. So all the way, yeah, the process flaking of lime. Okay, so 
that process is said to be breaking of time and also the product is called flaked lime okay so go calcium oxide calcium oxide la konjama water add pandra so water add pannum bodhu at the present time it will come kala break up so it break up bodhu nam kadikira product vandu the calcium hydroxide so oxide vandu hydroxide la convert aayidhu so the quick lime mixed with soda soda when it mix with soda so soda water mix aachina it gives a solid soda lime okay so it forms the vandu you want to do so all matter Second product of it is calcium phosphate. So you only want to just for addition we are going to add the phosphate, and then here you see check for the balancing. Here two into three is calcium. Here also is calcium, and then phosphorus is here two, and here two. So total is four. Four is four, and then four is six. Four is eight. Okay. So the here two. So this means. Now and flake lime. Okay, so flake lime is simply we are just filling it. Flake lime means what happens? We are just adding water to the calcium oxide. After water adds one of the it gets converted to flaking of lime, and the product you obtain is called flake lime. Uh, and also it is used in the purification of sugar. So purification of sugar. அதுல ஒரு காம்பவுண்ட்
important compounds of calcium under that the first comes quicklime calcium hydroxide gypsum plaster of paris see here this calcium hydroxide gypsum and plaster of paris see on next upcoming video session here quicklime it is prepared by heating a limestone in a lime flint okay so when we heat we mix it into it what happens by the temperature of 1072 1270 kelvin at this temperature here they form a reversible reaction with the evaluation of carbon dioxide gas the carbon dioxide gas will be removed finally once it get removed the resultant product obtained is simply calcium oxide that is quick like okay and also we discuss about the properties okay the properties under that we discuss about they are white amorphous solid about their melting point then we discuss about the moisture and then carbon dioxide the resultant product obtained is calcium hydroxide and then calcium carbonate then next when it react with the uh, water okay the process is said to be flaking of lime and the product obtained is flake the lime also when it react with silicon then it forms calcium silicate and also when it react with p4o10 it forms calcium phosphate then next we discuss about their uses so the uses simply it is the important uses in the cement manufacturing then in the manufacture of sodium carbonate and flake the lime then in the purification of sugar okay so to purify the sugar this calcium oxide used as one of the important compound okay then it is used for drying agent okay so that is simply to remove the moisture content for another compound this compound will be so what happens is calcium oxide will absorb the moisture content of that compound so that it makes that compound to get dry okay so adu irukku kudiya ira padutha idu absorb adanalu vandu adu or drying agent ah use pannuvanga so that's all about this quick line calcium oxide